Why? Because he is independent. He also does not need a reason. He is, he is independent. He does not need a reason. Therefore, who can ask why? He is the Supreme Lord. Everything works under his control. He is not under the control of anyone. But still, he likes to please his devotees. Therefore, Krishna is controlled not by anything else, but he is controlled by the prema of the devotees. Therefore, Krishna himself, he is Atmaram Aptakam. He has no unfulfilled desires, he has no material lust. But still, Krishna has one great quality, which may appear to be a weakness, but it's not a weakness, it's his ornament. That is his Bhakta Bhatsalyata. Krishna is controlled by the affection of his devotees, therefore seeing the desire of the Brijvasis to serve him, Krishna felt a desire to perform Raslila, to fulfill the hearts of the Brijvasis. You? Jnana Kimiram Vasya, Jnana Njana Shlakaya, Chakshuran Militam Jena, Tasmai Shri Gurvena, Vancha Kalpatri Prasya, Kripasan Dhubya Yevicha, Putitanam Bhavane Pyo, Vaishnave Pyo, Monamaha. Sri Gurudev is asking the devotees why Krishna has performed Rasalila. Krishna has two important qualities. <clears throat> One is Atmaramata. Uh, Shripad Damada Maharaj has explained. This means that Krishna is satisfied in himself. So he has no need for accepting any help, any service from anybody outside because everything is happening within himself. He's fully satisfied within himself. He can fulfill all, all desires. Sri Gurudev has explained that Atma Ram, what does Atma Ram mean? Uh, satisfied with himself. That self means Shimati Radhika. So, Atma Ram means he's performing Ram, he's performing Raman. Uh, beautiful activities with Shimati Radhika, who is the very soul of his soul. Like, for example, when uh, Krishna met with Shimati Radhika at Kurukshetra, Shimati Radhika was reminding Krishna of the suffering of the Brajbasis. She said, It's so wonderful that you. You've forgotten Govardhan. You've forgotten the place where we performed Rasalila. You've forgotten your mother, your father. I don't mind for my own suffering, but when I see my father and when I see Mother Yashoda, Nanda Baba, how they're suffering, it's intolerable. So when Krishna heard this, he began trembling, trembling, trembling. And he said that actually the Braj Basis is in my life. And the gopis especially. And amongst the gopis, you are Jivan Ere Jivan. You are the life of my life. So Srimati Radhika is Atma of Krishna. So Atma Ramata and then Pararamata. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur has explained that when Krishna is Atma Ram, there's no rust. This is dry. If he needs no help from anybody else. So Pararamata means he does need help from others. But from whom? only from those pure devotees who only have love for him. He has no attachment to any material thing. He has no inclination to enjoy the material energy. Everybody loves Krishna, and Krishna loves love, but pure love, pure love for him. So, actually this is the life. Krishna's life is his loving exchanges with his devotees. So when Krishna saw the moon rising on the full moon, Sharat season, Immediately he remembered the face of Srimati Radhika. Moon was rising and putting red everywhere. Uh, so he thought, oh, moon, moon is putting Kumkum on eastern direction, who is the wife of somebody else. No, no, I want only one. One. Five heated drops. So your point is okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, if you can say more. Om Gyanatunan Hasyam Gyanatunan 
First of all, I have my Sastang Dhanavat Pranam at the lotus feet of Asmadeya Pranamaraja to my Guru Pada Padma, Om Vishnu Pada Stodra Satsi Simat, Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj. I have my Pranam to my whole Guru Parampara and to all the assembled Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. So Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak a few words. Why Sri Krishna performed Rasa Lila? So, we know that the sages of Dandakaranya, in their previous lives, they performed austerities to attain Krishna as their beloved. And therefore, in their next life, they became gopis. So, it's Shukadev Goswami said, Anugrahaya Bhaktanam, in order to bestow his mercy on those devotees who had performed austerities for many lifetimes to gain the position of his beloveds, Krishna has performed this Rasalila. Not only the sages of Dandakaranya, but the young girls of Janakpuri. When Sita married with Lord Ram, many other young ladies there were attracted to Ram, but he could not marry them because he took a vow to only marry one person. So they are the, uh, the uh, princesses of Janakpuri. In their next life, they became gopis, and Krishna performed Raslila to accept them as his beloveds. Also, when uh, Sita was in exile at that time, under the guidance of his Gurudev, Sri Ramachandra, he made so many uh, murtis of Sita Devi to be with him at the time of Jagya. Each one of these Swarna Sitas, golden Sitas, was actually alive. And they also, next life, became gopis and met with Krishna in, in Rasalila. The Vedas personified had done austerities to become gopis, and they became the Shruti Chari gopis. In order to fulfill their desires, Krishna performed Rasalila. During the season of Hemanta, the month after Kartik, so many Sadhan Siddha gopis, they worshipped Katyayani for one month. And on the last day of their brat, Krishna came and stole their clothes. And he promised them that in Shard uh, season, I will fulfill your desire that I will become your beloved. So, so many sadhaks from everywhere, from different places, had been doing hard austerities and very strong bhajan for lifetimes to attain the position of being Krishna's beloved. So, on that night of Raslila, he accepted them. So, these are reasons, but these are not prominent reasons. Srila Shukadev Goswami, in the first verse of Rasalila, he said, Bhagavano Pitharatri, Shadatful Malika, Rantamasit Manaschakte, Yoga Maya Upasata. On the night of the Raslila, the fragrance of the uh, Malika flowers filled the air, and Krishna himself was in inspired. Rantamasit Manaschakre, he made up his own mind. He wanted to perform this Lila because Krishna is Rasika Shekar. The Vedas say, Taitiyarya Upanishad, Raso Vaisaha, Sa Evayam Labdwanandhi Bhavati. The Supreme Truth is the ocean of Rasa. Prema Rasa Nir Jasa Karita Yashmadan. Krishna comes in this world to re relish Rasa. But how can he relish Rasa? Only in the, by serving the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani. So during Rasa Lila, Krishna, he played his flute, and he, by his flute he called the name of Radhika. But all other gopis heard and they also came. But mainly it was to meet with Shrimati Radhika. And during that Rasalila, Shri Krishna, he disappeared and took Radharani with him alone. And they performed beautiful pastimes in Sringarvat. And there Krishna, had, being Rasik Shekhar, the enjoyer of all rasa, he relished the opportunity to decorate the lotus feet of Shrimati Radhika, to comb the hair of Shrimati Radhika. But when he saw that, he heard that other gopis were coming and about to find them, then Krishna disappeared. And Radharani began to cry. Oh my beloved, where are you, where are you? Please accept me. And the other gopis saw Radharani's separation. So previously, other gopis thought they loved Krishna, others loved Krishna, we all love Krishna. But when the other gopis saw the separation mood of Radharani, it was like a vast fire, and theirs was just like the, a glowworm in comparison. Then they could all understand that Radharani's prem was the highest. 
So especially to serve the lotus feet of Radhika and to glorify the lotus feet of Radhika, Sri Krishna has performed this Rasalila because he is Rasika Shekhar. <laughs> More of there are something, more of our more, something. That is, Siddhar Swami, Sanatan Goswami has told, Raslila is Kam Vijay. Kam Vijay means to defeat Kam Dev and QP. In the night, full night, full moon, very beautiful wind, uh, not wind, breeze, all kinds of flowers in Bhuyam. Uh, on the bank of the Jamuna River, alone Krishna and thousand and thousand of gopis. Surrounded Krishna. Here, Kamdev, Cupid, he was very proud. <coughs> proud that I have conquered Sankar. I have conquered Brahma. Brahma made a very beautiful girl, Bohini, and he was so much attracted to her. Also Indra, he was attached to Patni of Gautam Rishi, Chandra to wife of his guru. So all daily gods and even Brahma and Shankar, he has conquered. So he has so false ego. So Krishna Bhakti, so pitiful moon night, breeze coming on the bank of Yamuna, hmm? alone Krishna, thousand of gopis, young is, hmm? very beautiful and having all qualities surrounded by them and Krishna, what way? Or oh, touching their bodies, but even he told, oh, go to your husbands and serve them. Not only that. He disappeared, even giving up Radhika also, weeping, weeping. Hmm? So, Krishna is Cupid of Cupid, he is Kam Mohan. He can conquer, uh, he, he has conquered, really. Calm day. And one thing more. Vikriditam Bajabadubi Gijanta Vishnu Sadhvan Vitam Anshriyadat Bharadiye Deya Bhakti Param Bhagavati Pati Labdha Kamam Hiridrog Rasu Api Hinnup Jachi Those with very strong faith, they will hear. What is a strong faith? Like Haridas, like Prahlad Maharaj. Oh, anyone cut me in pieces, I will not give up Harinam or devotion of Krishna. So a strong faith in Krishna. Right? And by hearing this Harikatha, if anyone has faith that all kinds of Hidro will go away, so he is telling, Bhai Kriditam Pradubhi Itan Chabishnu Anushriyat Athabharni Yedya. Those who have heard from his Guru Dev and hearing, and then to describing to others. Dhir, Dhir Mane, whose intelligent is Shoda. But if anyone telling that no, by Rashlila hearing, lust will not go, they are what? 
दे आर अपराधी ऑफेंडर बिकॉज इन श्रीमद भागवत सुखदेव गोस्वामी है टोल नारद ऋषि है स्टोल व्यास देव है टोल तो दिस पर्सन ही हैज नो फेथ इन ऑल दिस सो सी इज वेरी अपराधी ऑफेंडर देर कैन एट देर लस्ट विल नट गो बट अदर दोज हु आर धी विद सत्ता दोज विल हियर हरी कथा दीज स्वीट पास टाइम्स फर्स्ट भक्ति विल कम वट काइंड ऑफ भक्ति लाइक गोपीज विल कम एंड देन वेरी सोन लस्ट विल गो इन गीता आर अदर डिस्क्रिप्शन इट हैज बेन टोल फर्स्ट लस्ट विल गो एंड देन बट रास लीला नॉट सो फर्स्ट भक्ति विल कम इन योर हार्ट एंड देन लस्ट विल गो दिस इज द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ कृष्ण गो प्रेम नाउ यू सो I'm here to present. Presents. I offer another money trick. <laughs> This will appear, disappear, and reappear somehow. Hopefully, we will start off by a hundred dollars. Fortunately, they don't have five hundred or a thousand dollars in Australia, but we will fold this one up like this. And I'll place in this envelope. So, like that. Now, I give to you, for your in trust. You can hold the money. Okay. Now you feel the money in there. You feel it. Strong. Okay. Good. Hold on. Where's Where's my balloon man? Here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now have a balloon. You can see it's empty, huh? You can see it's empty. You can see it's empty. Yeah. Who there? Can you see it's empty? He has to come. I have to please him. Yeah. Balloon is empty. Now we need your help for this one. I need all the energy we can muster. And this is where you can focus. Bullseye. Or double bullseye. You can't see so well. Now, the count of three. I'd like you all go. Well, I won't use any holy names because I think we'll use Wushka. Huh? One, two, three. Wushka. Hang on, there's something missing. I think you have to use your arms. Use all the energy, like Wushka, like that. Okay. One, two, three. Wushka. We have. Instant. Thank you for that beautiful energy of yours. You are magic. And for you, Dave, if one can pass this for a pura, there's the money. Please pass it on to Guru Dave. Thank you very much. Are there any new new people here tonight? Any new people? Well, you know, oh, good. Well, you know. I don't know anything. I don't under, have much understanding. I'm just a neophyte. But I know that in this world, if we don't know God's purpose, Krishna's purpose, it can be very bewildering. And from time to time, we think, well, especially the uh, uh, conditioned souls, the Jesus conditioned souls, they they have so much. Uh, They tend to buy so many uh, sins and, and uh, deluded by many desires. Uh, many enjoy or very fatigued by you know, trying to enjoy many uh, pastimes and, and pleasures and so many things. And life is too short. Life is as fleeting as a rainbow, as a lightning flash, as a star at dawn, as a blink of an eye. It's kind of like this.
That is life. If you look past your past life, it's like that. Huh? So, I try to make a good example. I mean, it can be really fatiguing and tiring. And, and you see people in the material world, they kind of look like that. Huh? And the way they enjoy it is usually by the senses. Hmm? Looking at nice things in the material world, like going to movies, or uh, they drive by to enjoy their tongue, they drive by uh, McDonald's, and they're just driving along and whoa! You can't stop it. Well, <laughs> very hard to suppress that tongue. It's actually a demon. It wraps itself around things that, just for its pleasure, whoop, put back here. For hearing music, disco, boogie woogie, huh? That's never ending. Let alone, you know, uh, uh, permanent enjoyment. So, being controlled by my app, Maya, this is Maya. Maya comes along, right? And before you know it, <coughs> sucked in again. However, when one comes to Bhakti Yoga, and after some time, it becomes quite happy. Because his senses work in a different way. His mouth for preaching the holy name, for preaching, for singing and chanting the holy names. His eyes to look at the deities and Guru Day, so beautiful. He has ears for hearing uh, the holy name, and his senses are used in such a way that brings permanent pleasure. And when Maya comes along, Maya, I mean, <laughs> I used to think. Um, years ago, and, and I corrected myself, I, I used to think that laughter was the best medicine. But I was wrong. Harinam is the best medicine. He's able to water all temptations. Now, temptations are like this. Just a little spark in the mind. Before you know it, they're blown up. Very hard to control. And when you're trying to deal with that one, another temptation comes in. Before you know it, there's a never-ending circle instead of stopping it in the beginning. Very hard to do, but temptation, whatever it is. I've got a backup. Temptation. <laughs> you're all such, so patient, and you're such good audience. So look, you're happy. You're happy, Guru Dave. You know, Guru Dave, but even then, sometimes when you're not re looking, Maya can creep up right behind you and boom. So you have to be on the guard. Guru Dave, I know it's your, your best of food tomorrow, and you know, when, uh, when I was out in the wilderness some years ago, uh, the Swamis, by God's grace, turned up my doorstep and took me to you. And you took me in, you gave me shelter. You put me into your heart. Because you are the real magician. And you open up, you, you, you penetrate our heart, heart to our soft center, which then unfolds something like this. Continuing to unfold, 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 like this. But 
Without you, it cannot be done. To our very centre, where Krishna resides, uh, it's still going. It's still going like that. Uh, and to me, Guru Dev, you're like a breath of fresh air to a drowning man. You're like a lover to a beloved. You're like a gold to a miser. Is the best way I can describe it. And you took my mother, she's 86, same age. Uh, you and her were just alone at my property on the Gold Coast two years ago, and such a wonderful moment. I treasure that. <laughs> of course, I always treasure you in my heart. And I want to finish off with, and I appreciate after this one, because Mother asked if I got a standing ovation. Now, when I present this one to you, it's the last trick. I'd really appreciate if you all got up and give Guru Dave a standing ovation. That'd be the lovely thing to do. So, while travelling with the Swamis, while travelling with the Swamis around the world, they always have trouble taking the dunder on board. Hmm? Sometimes they have to put it in a um, plastic hole to, to check in. Uh, Domadar Maharaj had a very bad experience. They cut his dunder in half some time ago after checking. <laughs> Heartbreaking, really, because that is their ceremonial staff, symbolic of their station in life. Mm. So I thought to myself, self, coming from down under, we have trees down there called thunder trees, and they're high dehydrated. So I thought, why can't I come up with a miniature, pocket sized version? Of the thunder. <laughs> See? They carry on board like that. No problem. In there. In there. Huh? Very respectful. Close to the heart is better. That's why that pocket there, a little clip. Beautiful like that. Beautiful. Keep working on. So, you get to the other end. When you get to the festival, you can dip in water, like that. <laughs> you dip in water, you put in the, the sado bag, I have a sado bag, sado bag, all the sado bag needs is a sado. Like that. And you tell some, some story, you wait for some moments, and then, automatically, like that. Now, <laughs> my name is Tamal Krishna Kaviraj, Dr. T. Bishore, and I present to you the Dunder from Down Under. <laughs> you see the Dunder against the wall? That's not a Dunder. This is a Dunder! This is a Dunder from Down Under! Thank <laughs> you.